Thank you for watching this video. This video, I'll focus on a statement of cash flow and how did they prepare uh, in QuickBooks Online. So this is a home page screen here. And uh, so here's your balance sheet. Uh, I'm gonna talk about that one. And then you got the uh, statement of cash flow. Uh, so let's define some terms about the statement of cash flow. So it's basically it's a cash flow uh, is, is, is a, a cash voice and change over time. Uh, so in, in this example, I'm going to focus on from January 1 through uh, September 30th, so that be for nine months. So uh, in cash flow, you have cash earned from your profit, that's from your business and then you have received additional cash that could be on money or through uh, borrowed money line of credit and how you spend that money for long-term uh, purchases like buying uh, uh, equipment so active is why you have operating profit and investing uh, uh, additional cash that's your financing and investing uh, cash spent on buying uh, fixed assets of buying some business in. Okay, so uh, the first thing we want to do here is uh, you can draw on uh, cash flow. So all you have to do is to run cash flow. Here's your home page screen, reports, and just type cash flow right here. It could be on the uh, upper side here too. Sometimes you know they have it either here or here. Uh, but the statement of cash flow is a is a is a standard built-in report, which is this. And so I just changed the uh, uh, transaction date and made it custom from January 31st, January through uh, January 1. Should be January 1. So January 1 through. Uh, September 30th, that's month end, uh, and so this is how you get the report. So in report, it will show your net income. This is this, this one you get it from your income statement for nine months, January through September 30th, and then they have a uh, 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 operating uh, uh, net cash by operations, mostly all the current assets type, as you can see here, AR, uh, inventory assets. Uh, and on the liability side, accounts payable and uh, uh, other current, ass oh, current liabilities here. So it's basically all these is current assets and current liabilities and investment activities. Uh, whenever you buy uh, equipment or bought some business, long term uh, investing activities, and then financing is basically how you got that money uh, uh, for your business. So it could be. Uh, in this case, line of credit from Chase and your own money, almost equity, and then it will show cash increase or decrease for that period to 19, and then it will uh, show a uh, beginning uh, cash balance, and at the, at the end, it will show uh, the cash at the end that's your bank balance as well. And uh, uh, so the important thing is how to get all these numbers uh, uh, in QuickBooks Online. So I have here the balance sheet here. Uh, in order to get exact nine months, you have to get this number from December 31st, 2014 through uh, it will be September 30th. Uh, 2015 so that's complete nine months and you want to look at the change from from here to here all right so if you look at the customize uh, as you can see here 2014 uh, September 30th uh, 2015 and uh, you don't need uh, this is basically uh, so rows non zero non zero and then just uh, run this report and uh, and under column instead of total 
total one you, you want to run years because you want to compare uh, from last year's ending uh, to uh, this year's uh, ending so you want to get exact nine months in this case uh, so you be right here December 31st through December 31st September 30th that will be exact nine months and you want to compare change from here to here from December 31st to September 30th change position okay so uh, let's look at the uh, side by side here uh, I'm on a uh, screen here uh, so this is how you see it and uh, so 198 it comes from retain earnings where well, here's your net income right here this is for nine months and the thing you want to do is from here it's hard to figure out how to get all these numbers you can you know you can see this in a subtract AR uh, like here uh, AR change here so it used to be 41 so now it's 50,000 and then they have uh, this is how they get 8988 uh, native way so what I would do is download uh, this to your Excel Excel export to Excel XLS or XLX uh, whichever you want to prefer and do the same thing for uh, uh, balance it as well so all you have to do is export XLS or ex export to Excel and I've already done it here right here okay so this is the when you uh, export Excel you know exactly the same one just like you saw it there which is this this one and for the balance sheet um, it's this one this one for the balance sheet and so it's about side by side uh, it's in Excel here okay so the first thing is 198 that's the net income uh, so net income you get it from as I said this is your net income from right here this is your net income for nine months and uh, uh, then you have 8988 that's a change in accounts receivable uh, you get that from here right here this, this, so uh, so this is all to do with operating activities now you have three activities operating investing and uh, uh, financing so everything to do with uh, current assets and current liabilities except cash position uh, it's part of operating expenses and uh, for operating they also include if you are depreciating assets they also include uh, depreciating assets so current liabilities current assets plus depreciation cumulative depreciation expense okay so uh, inventory asset as you can see here uh, it went up that's negative we have to finance it uh, and then fixed assets uh, 42.50 that's your depreciation one fixed assets depreciation right here 42.50 and then 2500 operating activity that's also depreciation and then American Express credit card now comes the credit card. accounts payable here first the accounts payable one uh, that's on now on current liability side accounts payable is right here these two chains and 9379 that's uh, credit card stuff same thing with Visa right here credit card and then you have uh, sales tax balance right here and the rent deposit uh, from liabilities side it's right there and now it comes to the financing one uh, and the 12,000 this is the investing part so basically you bought some fixed assets as you can see here from 81,000 it went up to 93 so you've added uh, fixed assets that's your investing part for your long-term business activities and then you have a line of credit that's your financing part that's how you got the money to pay for all those uh, so financing you have a line of credit right here 1900 and 164,000 uh, so that's the one from your owners owners uh, financing on your own money so this is how you got it uh, and uh, let's see if you can uh, make this one be a little bit 
Okay. Okay, so now we have a uh, cash period increase. This is right here, 219. So if you add from uh, from here, from all, all these activities, all print activities to all the way to here, so you get 219. And so that's exactly uh, the cash increase you have from from here from here to here and uh, have some money in sitting in undeposited funds so you have to add undeposited funds plus your bank account uh, and in here I don't have any undeposited funds so subtract that so that's your net increase net cash increase and uh, and so this one is uh, cash at the end so if you add uh, those two right here let's just which is this so uh, net cast increase is 219 and cast at the beginning was 208 which is this plus this and uh, uh, it's right here make it a little bit bigger here so cast at the beginning, which is these two numbers, and at the end is your exact number. There's nothing in here. Uh, so that's how they prepare uh, a statement of cash flow. Uh, so right now, uh, you know, they, they don't they don't do any uh, forecasting. Uh, so my next video is going to be. Uh, dealing with uh, uh, forecasting so based on how they do uh, this cash forecast the uh, cash cash flow so QuickBooks Online doesn't support uh, forecasting cash forecasting right now so uh, uh, that will be my next video uh, anyway uh, that's how they do it uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, uh, subscribe our uh, video channels we have two channels, VP Control and New QBO. And like us on Facebook, New QBO.